Hi children, good. Today we are going to look at fraction. What is fraction? Whatever grandma gives you, whether it's money or, or any chocolate, anything you like, divided equally, yes? Teacher gives you things, mommy gives you things, whatever it be. Whether it is fruit, chocolate, cake, anything, you want correct portion for you. If grandma gives you a big apple, what would you do? You cut the apple into two and each of you share, take a one half. Mommy gives you a chocolate and he says, look here, three of you divide it correctly. So what do you do? You take the slab, make into three portions correctly. A fraction. Now, as children in the class at home, if you don't get your correct portion, you cry. Yes? Here, yeah, we are going to learn today what is fraction. Whole, one whole cake, one whole chocolate, one whole fruit. Whatever, the whole can be divided. And that's what we're going to look at today. It's very interesting. Look carefully. You're going to enjoy looking at the picture. Fraction. Look. In the first picture here, you have nice colorful thing here. Look here. What is the meaning of fraction we must know? Fraction means part of a whole. Okay? What is the meaning of fraction? Part of a whole. You have anything you can divide. Let us say this is a big slab of chocolate. One whole chocolate. You get, no? Calvary is one big chocolate. Let's imagine this is one whole chocolate. Grandma says, look, Peter and John, come here. Take this whole chocolate and take half each. So you have one whole chocolate. One whole means one by one. One big chocolate, one by one. So grandma says, Peter and John, come here. You've been such good little boys. Let's give a chocolate for you. But divide. Both of you must take half each perfectly. How do we divide? So grandma says, here is the slab and you divide exactly into two parts. So the whole is divided into two parts. That is one by two, one by two. One by two is one half of the chocolate. One by two is another half of the chocolate. So Peter and John take half chocolate. Each one take one half. Understood? Now, Grandma says, what about Daisy? Daisy need to get. So she takes out another whole chocolate and Grandma says, Daisy, Peter and John, share the chocolate correctly between the two. Divide the whole chocolate into three parts. One by three, one by three, one by three. So Grandma make correct one by three shares of the whole chocolate and call Daisy, Peter and John. Each of you take one third. Dividing the whole chocolate, three pieces. One piece, one piece, another piece. So Daisy, Peter and John, they all get correct one one slab each. Yes? Good. Now, a little cousin comes along. Little cousin comes along, Mona, and she says, What about me? Grandma takes out another whole chocolate, and she says, Good, let's make this chocolate into four equal parts. Because Mona likes chocolate. She's a little girl, and she needs a little small piece. She cannot eat too much. Good. The whole chocolate grandma divides into one 
first into half, then again that again into quarter. So you have here this is a half the slab of chocolate, then you divide, so you get two quarters, one quarter, another quarter that makes half. Again, this half she cut makes one quarter, one quarter. So Daisy, Mona, Peter, and John all get one quarter each. Look. Fraction means part of a whole. One whole chocolate, this is one by one. It can be divided. The whole chocolate can be divided exactly into two parts. So the one part is called one by two, another part is called one by two, that is half. How do you spell half? H A L F. Half, another half. So a whole has a whole chocolate has one half, another half. Two halves make one whole. Next, one whole can be divided into three equal parts and each part is called one third. For one whole chocolate, you can divide equally into three parts. That's called one by three, one by three, one by three. One third, this is one third of the chocolate. This is another one third, this is another one third. Okay? So it can be divided into the whole can be divided into three parts. So each part is called one third of the whole. Next, the same bar of chocolate we can divide into four parts. First, you divide it into half, that is one by two, that can be divided again. And that will be one quarter, one quarter, that makes one half. One by four plus one by four, that makes one by two. Half, look here. You see the half here? This half and this half is same. Again here, this half and this half is same. After cutting this into half, again you divide it into quarter. So, in one whole, you can have one, two, three, four quarters. One by four, that is four quarters make one whole. Two halves make one whole. Three, one third make one whole. Today we are learning fraction means part of a whole. So, whole can be divided into two parts. Any Whole chocolate can be divided into three parts, four parts and go on. Yes? So we are learning today what is fraction? Fraction means whole, part of a whole. Let's look at more pictures and understand fraction today. Look. This is a whole apple. Daddy brings a large apple. Called the little boy and the little girl, brother and sister, and said, This is a whole apple. Spell whole W H O L E. One whole apple. What's the color of apple? Red. And daddy says, Now look here, brother and sister, go ask grandma to cut it equally into two parts, and you can take one each. So we held the apple, you can cut the apple into two two equal halves. This is one part, this is one part. So, we can make two parts. This is one half, the another half of the apple. What is half? How do you represent half? One by two. So, this is one by two of this apple, one by two of this apple. Okay? So, one whole can be divided into two parts. Now, you understand what is two parts? Half good. Let's go on. Next, look at this. What is this? Birthday cake. Yes, daddy brings a big birthday cake. Huge birthday. Happy birthday. Okay? Now, let's divide this birthday cake into two parts. So, grandma says, come, let's make two halves. So, she takes cuts in the middle, so we get two halves. 
this is 1 by 2, this is 1 by 2. So, we get you can cut the cake equally into two halves, one whole cake cut it into two parts. So, one part, another part, one half, another half, two halves make one whole. Did you understand? Look, let us go on. Let us look at this picture. What do you say? A lovely orange, one whole huge, large, mm, juicy orange. Let us cut the juicy whole orange into two equal halves, two parts. This is one part of the orange, this is another part. You simply cut it like that, you get two halves, one half, another half. You put together, you get the whole orange, one by two, one by two. So, two parts, the orange can be cut evenly into two parts, two halves. This is whole, this fraction, part of a whole. This is one half of the orange, this is one half of the orange. Yes, go. Let us go on to another picture. Are you happy? Are you enjoying? Good. Look at this. What is this? A lovely brown egg. You like to eat yummy egg? Good. Now, this is the whole boiled egg, whole big egg. We have an egg here. Now, if you take a knife, you can cut the boiled, hard boiled egg into two halves, one half, the other half. This is the white, this is the yolk. Yes? So, the huge whole boiled egg, after taking off the shell, you can divide into two halves. This is the whole egg, this is one half, this is one half. Fraction is part of a whole. This one half is part of this whole egg. Good. Are you enjoying to understand what is fraction? Good. Let us look at another picture. Look. Again, we have another orange, lemon. Here is a lemon, huge. You like to have lemon juice? Yes. Here is a whole lemon. Let us cut the lemon, whole lemon into two halves, two parts, so that we can get juice. You like lemon juice? Yes. Put little sugar. Mmm, yummy. So, the whole lemon and this is? One part, half of the lemon, this is half of the lemon. What is fraction? Part of a whole. This half lemon is part of this whole lemon. Anything can be cut into two parts, one by two, one by two. Two parts, the lemon is cut into two parts. Now, you can understand what is fraction? Fraction is part of a whole, this is half of the lemon. This is the other half of the lemon. This is the whole lemon. Good. Let us take another picture. Now, let us look at this picture. Here is a whole lovely pista green paper. In the class, the teacher says, let us do some folding of paper, equal folding. Yes. So, now the teacher gives you a whole paper and whole lovely green paper. And she says, let us divide, let us fold the paper into three, this whole paper into three equal halves. So, you are asked to take a ruler and measure and put dots and then you fold one third, one by three. You are making three parts. So, you put a dot here, put a dot here, fold that paper into one third one third, one third. So, you have three parts here, one part, two part, three part. Now, this one part is part of the whole, yes? One third, one by three, one by three. You can get three parts if you fold this correctly. So, we are learning by folding the paper that one whole paper, rectangular paper 
we can fold and it can be folded into three parts and each will be one by two. You have to measure correctly, fold correctly and press it down. So, we have here one, two, three parts. What is this one part, one by three? Part of a whole. What is fraction? Part of a whole. This is the whole paper and this is one by three. One part of the three parts. Yes? Let us look at another picture. Here, we got a circular paper. Take a circular paper. This is the whole circle and the teacher says, come on, let us see, you can divide the circular paper into four equal parts. Okay? So, what do you do now? Take the paper and fold into half. So, you take one end and touch the other end and press it down correctly. So, you get half. The, you get half. One half, another half. Then she says, now you fold again the half, touch the surface correctly, press it down. Good. Now, she says, open it out. What do you see? You can get this line correctly. First, you fold it into half, then you fold it into quarter. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4. We can divide, we can fold a whole paper into four equal parts. One part is called a quarter of the circle. What is quarter? One fourth, one by four. This is another one by four. So, two quarters make half. And you have another half of the circle here, and you can divide. You have divided that into one by four, one quarter, one by four, one quarter. So the whole paper you have folded correctly, and you have divided it into four parts: one, two, three, four. Each portion is called one by four quarter. Good. 